Traders War Room proudly presents the daily video with the best trading and investing alerts anywhere on any platform with up-to-date stock, chart, and market news. TWR is simply your one-stop shop. Pre-market video. Activate your two-day trial of TWR All Access on the Discord platform. Stocks I like. Okay, so here's how the chart's gonna go. Basically, you're gonna see three colors, purple, blue, and red. The purple, that's our battle zone, all right? Triggers on the high and the low that give us the idea of continuation to either our high target, which is blue, or our low target, which is red. Definitely gotta use these as trigger points and ideas because the volatility of the market can change the landscape in an instant, okay? So very cautious, head on a swivel, and be ready to attack. All right, so let's check out SPY. Basically, SPY has kind of been playing in this window of opportunity, and we look as though we're kind of consolidating from a basic leg up. I do think that we have a good opportunity for continuation, especially if the market stays strong. However, being Friday and taking in consideration what the Fed said, I just think that we're probably going to see the beginnings of a little bit of the pullback. So I do think that we get maybe a push and then we start retracing back down and testing some of those lower levels so i'm looking more to the short side of the house but definitely i've been burnt before so you got to ride the momentum so if we see an opportunity to go long on the day utilizing moving averages we'll take it but overall we have to have in our mindset that cool down is going to happen and we look for the reversal the same idea with the Qs because the Qs are actually the ones that are really pushing the other indexes, okay, the mega tap tech. So we'll be looking at the mega cap tech specifically to have a nice sharp little uptick and then probably some of the decent sell off because what's in it going to end up happening is people are going to rotate their money out of tech since it's been on such a tear and they're going to start allocating it into other items, specifically fixed income and some other cash alternatives. So I do think we're going to see some money coming off the table, which would drive the spy down, which will also drive the Q down because it's going to be heavily in the mega tech area. And I think that we see the peak to the high and rejection and coming back down. SoFi is interesting. Now, this one will benefit from people getting that loan repayment stuff back. But I do think that we're in a technical kind of pattern here where we're starting to see a little spikes up and then we've rolled to the downside so you can kind of see it we curved over there at 1023 came down spike back up curved again i think that we consolidate maybe push back up a little bit but ultimately we come back down so i'll be looking for more of a short long-term swing trade on this one SPCE, now this is interesting because this gained a lot of attention here recently. Now this was a previous SPAC that was extremely popular, but had some huge um, issues with the, you know, the space rockets and stuff like that. And it just took a freaking beating, but we're starting to see some volume in here. Now, definitely we gotta be careful with this cause it's volatile, but we do have the battle zone there. And I think it would be okay if we trigger outside of the battle zones to the upside to the downside, go ahead and take the trade. Um, relatively trades are inexpensive. I also think this would be a decent area for share accumulation, specifically in the fives or the fours if we can get it. So definitely keep that in mind. If we start to drop into the low fives, into the high fours, don't be afraid to go ahead and get yourself 100 shares of this. Keep this three to five years. I think we'd be able to double, maybe triple our money. But in the short term, we can definitely trade this. We peak off of the battle zones and we go ahead and ride this to the target zone. So this one's interesting, ENVX. Now, I'm not too familiar with this, but I cannot deny that we got a nice, you know, bullish pattern going on. So we got a bunch of long candle wicks that are giving us the three soldier pattern. So we got the battle zone. Definitely it's tight, but I think that if this can keep the momentum going, we probably can peak up there into the 16s before we start to see some selling pressure. So I'll be interested to see how this one plays out, utilizing the battle zones for trades, but this has a whole lot of volume on watch lists and definitely people are looking for it. so it could potentially be a squeeze play right here 
Hood, looking at the chart, pretty bullish right here, okay? It's kind of step laddering up. So I think that we got a potential to probably go up there and maybe even attack that $11 range. Uh, hood is usually a pretty decent and uh, cheap type of trade to take. Um, I don't necessarily think that hood shares at this particular price is the right action, but I wouldn't mind trading this with some options. So I'll be looking for a break through the battle zones and make me go long or short on a particular trade into the target zone. DraftKings starting to look pretty bullish here at the bottom. I think we hit support and we're starting to peak up. So DraftKings likes to move. It can move very quickly. We trigger outside of the battle zones. Go ahead and take the trade. I would imagine that this probably would get some steam going into the upside. So I'm more likely to look for a long trade on this one rather than a short Tesla's consolidating pretty tight, which tells me that we got a move coming. Um, it could be a bump to the upside. However, I think we had like a 55% move to the upside here recently within the past month. And therefore, I think we have limited upside before a dramatic cool down coming. So I would be more inclined to look for the cool down on this particular trade. However, it does like to trade between a $5 and $10 ratio. So you can make money on this day trading this off of moving averages going both ways. But if we're looking for the longer swing trade idea i do think we come out of this consolidation to the downside meta we peaked up kind of consolidating into you know a pattern here you know we're going to make a decision it's either going to push to the upside or push to the downside however meta has been another one that has been on an absolute tear i think we have limited upside on meta i think that we kind of peak up a little bit go attack the 285 range and then we'll probably find rejection from there and come read down and retest the 280s maybe even 275s since that was the last kind of area before we had the previous breakout the market is our war zone and stocks are the battle. Join TWR and let's go to war.